Hi everyone, this is Marcia. I'm back to finish up with this uh, container of jewelry. I'm eager to get in here, see what else we have, and uh, share it with you. So, I hope everyone's having a good day. We're coming up on the holiday season, and uh, it's hectic. It's just a lot going on, so um, let's do this. Let's, let's see what else we have. What are the goodies are in here? I'm going to move it off to the side. Bring out this piece. Another one of those scissor bracelets. Still in the package. This one is gold tone. I remember getting a black one. I'm not sure if the other one was a, a gold or a silver, but now this makes the third one that we have. So, there you go. This is cute. This is a brooch. Oh, it's a pen pendant. I don't see any names. Looks like porcelain or ceramic. I'm not sure. Is ceramic and porcelain the same? Not sure. But that is beautiful. And my lighting is just atrocious here. Hopefully it'll come across on the camera pretty good. So that is, what, a Scottish Terrier? It's pretty. That's what it is. Very pretty. And we have a Christmas ornament. Isn't that cute? Tennis rackets and balls. And uh, the holly and berries. Very nice. Very nice. And it has a name. Navica. Very nice. This is very nice also. Sparkly. I'm going to adjust this. That might be a little better. Oh yeah, look at how, when the light hits it. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And it looks like everything's there. I don't see a name or any marks on it, but that's nice. Oh, before I go any further, I wanted to show y'all something from the first part of this video. Remember this? If you don't, it's in, what am I on? I'm on part three now, so this would have been part two. This was black, and I'll insert a picture of what it looked like. But I cleaned it up a little bit, probably could use a little more cleaning, but uh, really big improvement. And another thing I noticed that I didn't notice the first time, there's one extra bead on this one side. I don't know if the other bead got damaged and they had to take it off, but we don't know. But got that. Alrighty, well, let's continue. Let's pick out a watch. I see a few of them in here. This one. Let me see. Let me see if I can get that. Is that Kathy Lee? As in Kathy Lee Gifford? That's a nice watch. Very nice. I'll have to put a battery in that one. Try it out. It's the two tone, which I love. Okay, next we have a choker with purple rhinestones. And then we have another watch. Oh, this is, uh, looks like it says carriage. Well, it does not want to. There we go. Carriage is Timex brand. It's a Timex carriage. <laughs> carriage by Timex. Very nice. So that's two watches. And might as well keep at it. I see one more. We'll get this out of the way. This is a Casio. It's water resistant and it's working. It is working. See the second? Very nice. Well, this one says made in China, so I don't know, maybe it's not all that old. I wonder if some of these numbers I can check. 
Well, that's nice. Alrighty, well. We've got a broken piece because we've got an empty string here. And I see a lot of loose beads on the bottom, so maybe the other beads that went on this are in the bottom. But anyway, this is not even. There's an extra bead on this side. Yeah, this one extra bead. Not balanced, but maybe they added it for the length. But these are green wooden beads and some, I think, just plastic pearls in kind of like a gold tone. And some seed beads. And got another Scottish Terrier, this time a pendant. Wow. That's got a mark on it. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a dog or some type of animal there, but then it also looks like that's a letter B. Uh, I don't know. Is that like a pewter stamp? Because that's what this looks like. Although this bale doesn't look like it's... I mean, it's more gold tone. But still nice, and it's heavy. Okay. These are sticky. <laughs> they need cleaning. But, uh, and you can see the ones in the back look darker. But they're heavy, so they're... They're glass pearls. Oh, and they look like they have some verdigris or some something on those ends. But let's see, we got a tag. Marvella. That's a good brand. Is Marvella still making jewelry? Maybe. I think they are. But, you know, it's not like... the vintage brands you know the the companies that are still in existence today they're not the same quality as they were back in the 50s 60s 70s 80s even but anyway we've got that we've got a brooch it's just like a resin boy that's cute winter christmas themed snowmen like that and we have a stretch bracelet or do we we've got the double lobster claw clasp this might be a watch band what is it is it the watch it or this um, there's one brand I'm not sure what what brand it is that has these where you can change out the bands and they have the um, lobster claw clasp on either end. Okay, well, we've got that. And look what we've got. We got the other half of that belt buckle. Isn't that nice? Okay, very good. Got that. And here's another piece. And unfortunately, we got two other um, belt buckles. It was the DR. Who told me? What's her name? Emily told me. Um, and for the life of me, I can't think of the, the name. But I can go back and check. It's, um, they are rather expensive online. Um, I got the panther and I got the uh, dogwood flower. So this may go to one of those, although I don't see, I don't see DR on this one, but I can check it out. Very good. Um, I don't know if I should get some stuff out or just keep picking. Yeah, let me just keep picking. Yeah, let me get a few things out. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> Um, boy, someone really liked their Scottish Terriers. Look, this is the third piece. So cute. I don't see a name. 
Got rhinestones in the collar and they appear to be all there. So that's nice. Very nice. Uh, we got this pair of post style earrings. Long but light enough to not be uncomfortable when you wear them. And it looks like a rose gold, brush silver, and another rose gold disc. So that's cute. And These nice lever back lever backs. Oh no, I was gonna say they looked gold, but they don't. They are silver tone, and they're losing some of the plating on it. We'll probably repurpose the beads because the metal's kind of worn. Maybe use these for for projects where maybe we can wire wrap around it or something. You can always use it. Never throw it away because you never know. And we've got this. This is nice. That brushed gold finish. And I'm sure that's all it is. Don't see any marks. Nope. But nice. I like it. And these, I really like these. Very pretty. Again, the lever backs. These are a little more detail. Oh, you got a little crystal there. And the pearl. Hmm. I don't see, see any marks, but those are pretty. They might be mine. There's another pair. I like these. These look fruity. <laughs> yeah, these are very nice. These are glass beads. Shells and glass beads. Very nice. Be nice come summertime. Here we have a bookmark. Sorry about that. Glare. It's a pretty color. It's not just purple. It's kind of, it has striations in it. I don't know if you can tell that. It's a very nice bookmark. I'm trying to match up, looking in the um, container, I'm trying to match up earrings as I pull them out. Here, it looks like just a single piece, and it's broken. So we'll put that in our basket of broken pieces. There's a couple cute beads. Got that crackle look, kind of looks a little bit like halite. Uh, let me get a container for beads because I see quite a few in the bottom, like these. No marks on those. They're like the silver line beads done with greens and blues. Let me show you these earrings. These are pretty. These almost look like they could be Avon. But I don't see any. This is like, like uh, the, the color of garnet. Pretty. Like those. And these look like wings. I think it might be copper. And then it has like a resin. It's been treated to get that patina on it probably and then a resin poured over it. Got a pair and these. I like these. Yes, I really like these. They got the Omega, they got the Omega backs on them. And they've got a signature, what does that say? MX? Hmm. Not 
familiar with MX. But I think these are mine too. I'll have to clean them up and try them on and see how they look. I like the way they look, but whether they'll look good on me, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to find out. Pretty. Put them off to the side. A lot of loose beads in here. And we're matching up some earrings, so let me get these out of here. These are a nice pair. That hammered antique silver. Not sure what the material is. I don't know, these ear wires don't look like they go with it. I'll have to look at these closer. These just have a look. But nice, like those. And these. These are like the door knocker style. The post pierced earrings, post back. And I've had these before. I think I had a pair of these in the stuff that my friend gave me. A while back. Nice! And here looks like... I don't know. Hmm. It kind of looks like a paw print, but kind of looks like a, um, a cobblestone. Walkway, you know, path. I don't see any marks on it, but anyway, we got that. And look at this. Isn't this cute? A ladybug. It's a um, tack back pen. Oh, and it's a JJ. Lighting is not that good. There you go. JJ. And it's two tone. That is cute. I like that. I'm going to bring out a handful of stuff. Oh, I keep moving things. These are... Well, oh, there's one of those pearls that was on that green. I know in here some more of the... There's, these two were on that broken necklace. That's pretty. I like the filigree. I'm just going to pull out all the beads. Another one of those pearls. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Let me see one. Oh, some more of those chip beads that was in one of the other parts. Part one, part two. It was a broken necklace that had all the chip beads on it. One of those. Okay. Let's see, we've got some cup chain in like a turquoise color. We can definitely repurpose these. This feels very lightweight, but the um, Rhinestones are prong set, and we can definitely take those out. Yeah, we can get them out pretty easily and reuse the rhinestones in something else that we might need to repair. Oh, I like these. I like the color. Very nice. Quite a few. Oh, this is a pretty color, too. Nice purple. I don't know if this lighting... Is bringing out the true colors. Sorry, guys. Here's some more. Oh, this incorporates all of them. The two greens and the purple, and except there's one darker color right there that we don't have a single strand for. Got that, and then more of the black. The black wasn't in that strand, though. Black must be, and it's not the same. It's silver tone and not gold tone. Okay. Earring back. What is this? It says EX and it looks like a, the number 19. Well, not gold. 
thick. I'm not sure if it's a ring ring or something else. Alrighty, well, let me get rid of that bead. Another bead. Let's see. Here's a pear. Well, these are cute little gold tone hoops with almost looks like there's a star shape. With a little disc charm. Very cute. Got those. Got a bead cap. Could be copper. Okay, where am I put that in with the beads? More of the black cup chain. Got some single earrings I'm putting off to the side. Oh, no, these aren't single. These are a pair. And they're cute. Oh, fire polish beads. They do have a sparkle. All the facets on them. Those are cute. Very simple. For the most part, I, I like a simple hoop just to put on for every day. So we've got those. Uh, we've got a service pen. Don't see any marks, but let me look. A lot of times these service pins are um, 10 karat gold. Well, I don't see it. It looks more brassy, but it can always be tested. So we got that, and we've got a dolphin. Looks like an angry dolphin. Doesn't it? Look, he's shown his teeth. <laughs> I don't know. I... Anyway, cute. And we have this keychain. Or do they call them keychains if they're not chains? A key holder. And it is stamped, oh, 925 Mexico. Very nice. Let me screw that off. Put your keys on. Put it back on. I wonder if this is uh, was meant to be monogrammed or have an initial put on there. Nice sterling. So let's see where I'm gonna keep that. My first piece of sterling. This looks like it could be. I think it is sterling. I'm going to have to look. It's upside down, but it did say 925. Very delicate. Is it a... It's a box chain. Very, very small box chain. But still, so that's our second piece of sterling. We're racking up the sterling out of this container. And we've got this silver color. It's interesting links. Almost look like a shell. Oh, I think the clasp has a mark on it. 925. I think that's what it says. Yep. Sure does. So, wow, that's a good find. I'm assuming the whole necklace is 925. But again, it can be tested. Very nice. But for now, I'm going to call it. Sterling. <laughs> and we have a bracelet. This is cute.
curling chain alternating between a smooth and a pattern. That's pretty. Very pretty. And I see writing. Gold filled? Maybe. Yeah, 120th 12K gold filled. Gold, silver, and scoop up some more. Scooped up this earring, so we've got a pair of these gold tone earrings with the um, coiled wire over the bead and the rings. Cute look. Got those. And we got some more of those wooden beads. I don't know if this is, I think this might just be glass to look. This looks like it went with that. Yeah, yes and no. No, not quite the same color. We got that and this and this. More beads. Well, that's a pretty bead. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see it. I'll pick it up later. That's a pretty bead. That is really pretty. Okay, another cap. Another. Oh, I thought that was another bead. Oh, I don't know if we have the other one of these. I'm going to hold it off to the side. This matches that one um, gold-filled necklace that we found in part one, part two, one of those parts. But let me put that off to the side. Another bead. Oh, that's a cute little heart bead. Okay. And some chip beads. Sorry about the hand. Okay, well, we've got a little bowling pin. Pen. <laughs> and it says Mafco, USA. Cute for that little bowler in your life. Oh, there's another, oh, <laughs> look at that. A pig, that is so cute. Well, that's got a name too. I'm gonna have to look at that one. It says Camco. Right there. Oh, that is fun. I know there are people that like pigs. I mean, as like, they like pigs, like they would own pigs and have them as pets and stuff like that. Here's a match to that earring. Turquoise, halite, maybe one of those. Yeah, they're cute. We'll test it, maybe. Looks like a peridot. I don't know if it is. Or just a crystal. I can test it though. Pretty. Here's another pair of earrings that have that look of turquoise. I don't believe they are. They're a little chilly. What could be the metal I'm feeling? But they're cute, nevertheless. Nice. And we have a JR lapel pin or tie tack. No, it's not tie tack. I don't think. I think it's a lapel pin. But uh, don't see any marks, but got that. Let's see. We've got this. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? I love that pink. Oh, my goodness. This has got some shine to it. I don't see any marks. That is, that's beautiful. Pink and green, my favorite colors. I should say green and pink because I like green better, but I can't get over how much sparkle that has. That's another one I'm going to test. 
I'll let you know in the editing. Okay, well here's a pair of earrings. And if I'm not mistaken, we've got a 925. Does that say 925? Yes, it does. Well, the Celtic knot. That is, I know that I'm going to have to look it up because it's, um, it represents three or it means three. It's try something. I'll look it up and let you know in the editing. I'm sure some of you probably already know and are probably yelling it at me, but I cannot think of the name. But, um, they're pretty. They're very, very lightweight, delicate. I like those too. Okay, and this. You've got a pendant. Looks like gunmetal. Or not. Do you all see what I see? Is that a stamp? It's 925, so this thing is just tarnished. Let's see how that cleans up. It is dark though, but another piece of sterling. Yay! Got some big beads. Okay, let me get some more. Goodness, I think that I'm just going to show you this. It is, if you can see under there, these are just some beads and little parts. I'm not going to put that out here. Looks like a copper ring. Hammered. Cute. Okay. Oh, we got another one of those blue beads. They'd make a nice pair of earrings. Can you all see? Oh, we got another one of these beads, too. These are pretty. Look at that. It's got like a swirl. And these. Oh, got another one of them. Oh, and another one. And another one. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> but cute. And we got these beads. I think these might just be acrylic. But they're pretty. Oh. Let me. What is this? This one. This bone. Looks like it's carved bone. Let me just get rid of these beads real quick. Uh, got a cancer awareness pen. Let me get rid of all of these little beads. And this one. On one of the silver necklaces that I got, these two beads were on there. I took them off to clean the, the necklace, but this is just like it, just a different color. I clean these, but I'm not going to put that in there because that's not cleaned yet. Okay. Got these two. One with and one without the ear wire. Now this is pretty. This is very cold. But I'm not sure. It's a stone, but I think it's dyed. It may or may not be. It looked like there was a little white around the edge, but when I look through, it doesn't look like it's white all the way through, but can you see the way it's faceted? Well, it's got a table on it. I might be able to test that one, too. I'll let you know if I do. Uh, here's a single earring. This is a single earring. This is a single earring. Oh, 
that's not classic studex is what it looks like that says but that's but something about this when they're small like this I'm gonna look at this one closer and I'll let you know if it's anything in the editing okay got a necklace silver tone has a disc that looks like it's stamped with a crown and it's got a knot why am I messing with now because I can right it's out done deal okay so that was the s single yeah I showed you that one right and we're waiting to see I don't see the match but look see this is the necklace would have been nice. This is gold filled. So I guess maybe that's gold filled. I only have that one. It's, here's a pair. We've got Coca Pelli. That's the Native American God for Fertility, the flute player. I don't know. These look pretty good, too. So I'll test those. They may or may not be sterling. But a pair. And we've got these. There we go. Cute. And all the rhinestones are there. Very pretty. I like those. And getting to the end here, we've got a fleur de lis. And got a mark. Honestly, I can't see through the camera. 925. Another piece of sterling. Well, that's cute. And this looks like it's stamped. Mexico 925. But what's that on the top? I'll let you know. I'm not quite sure. The first letter looks like it could be a T and then an either an A or an H and then a dash 210. That could identify the um the maker. But look, isn't that pretty? I bet you that's turquoise. Maybe. But another piece of sterling. Very nice. Yeah, this is costume. Just a little bar earring. This looks good, too. There's turquoise and silver. What is that, a feather? Arrowhead? A feather, maybe. Well, don't see, don't see a mark on it. If it's an artisan-made piece, it won't have a mark. Always, you know, unless it's you know for resale. No, I, I don't see anything written or stamped on there. But my guess is sterling. It certainly has the look. It's very pretty. But only one, and I think these are the last. This is the last pair, or the, the last of the container. And these look like sterling as well. Aren't they pretty? There's a, there is a stamp. I don't know if y'all can see it or make it out, but let me look. Well, I can make out the 925, but there's something written underneath of it that I can't make out. Anyway, but more sterling. Wow, this container had a lot of sterling. I think besides what I got today, I may have gotten eight or more pieces in the other two, um, other two videos combined. I think. I don't know. I, I, 
it's been a while since I did those other videos, and I don't remember. But, uh... These are the sterling pieces we got out of this one. These are not marked that I can tell, but I'm pretty sure they are, and I will test them. But I'm going to put them in there. And this one as well. Um, I will test this and this. I'll let you know if I can get a test result on these three. I'll let you know in the if they are precious stones or semi-precious stones. And we've got a little bit of gold filled. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. And this is possibly gold. So I'll let you know in the editing as well. Is it for now? Uh, we have no other jewelry. Bags, jars, containers, baskets, anything to go through right now. But we'll keep checking. And if we find anything, you know I will share it with you. So um, I guess that's going to do it. That was fun. I wonder. I might check that too, see if it's sterling. And I might check that, see if it's gold. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Y'all take care, and we'll see you on the next video. Till then, bye-bye.